Hey all, welcome back. We just found the rainbow shell, and now we need to take it. Here we are back in 1000 AD. This is Adrian. This is Roxy. And this is Zombie. And while we're here, we're also going to check out this glowing house to see if we can't figure out what's happening here. Maybe this has something to do with the sunstone? Or maybe it's the cleanest house in, house in the region. Probably one or the other. Maybe it's just uh, a giant save point. Maybe. Well, this guy said he never heard of it, so he can't be responsible. Obviously. Wow, harsh. Dad loves money more than he loves me. Well, I would love money more than you too, kid. <laughs> oh, that's rude. I don't know the kid. What, you don't like kids that walk into chairs? Uh, not kids from this fictional game. <laughs> So this guy obviously obviously stole the moonstone. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back to the past to 600 AD. Oh, okay. I and see. and and we're gonna talk to his ancestor. Nice. So we're gonna get some jerky from oh 1000 AD because that's the only place where jerky exists. Oh. <laughs> Do you ever wonder if this machine is going to run out of gas or whatever it runs on? <laughs> uh, yes. It's going to be like a Back to the Future <laughs> episode of Chrono Trigger where it's just, we need to find fuel. Yeah. <laughs> We're out of tachyons, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> so, stopping at the snail stop to buy some jerky. Some very expensive jerky. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> now nah, we're actually just a little bit packaged. It's just that pocket change to snow. <gasps> Play a sad one, Joe! Nah, something upbeat. Aww. We're in a good mood. But play me a song, Mr. Piano. Fiona, eh? Yep. <laughs> what fools. Is that another side quest we can do? The forest? Yep. You can see that this whole area is desert now. Back in the past, you can see that it's a little bit better. Mm. But there's still some desert there. She was trying to regrow the forest back in the past, and apparently her efforts didn't work. Oh, okay. So, now that we've got the jerky, we're going to go back to the 680. Talk to the guy's ancestor again. I see you have some jerky. Wow, okay, sure. Nah, just give it to her. I guess. <laughs> and now, in 1000 AD, the guy's not going to be so selfish anymore. And so he... He won't... He'll give us back the Moonstone. Oh, I see what you're doing here, Idrim. Yep, we manipulate an entire family line just so we can get our rock back. Yep. I'm down with that. <laughs> And he still has it in the house for some reason. Well, I mean, he still find it. <laughs> That's fair. Well, no, because he said someone left it here. <laughs> My dad, of course. <laughs> ah, so we even <laughs> fixed a family's relationships. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, she's just never happy. Ain't that just the way? You might remember back from the start of the game, by the way, that he was the guy that paid us 10 gold to cluck like a chicken. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so we taught him a lesson by making him a completely different person, so he basically doesn't exist anymore. That'll show him. <laughs> The sweetest revenge. <laughs> Seriously, that whole thing sequence, I... <laughs> it's such a petty use of time travel. What if this was all just really for revenge? <laughs> just because he made us cluck like a chicken? Yeah. Well, it's a good thing that apparently the time stream is completely invulnerable in this game. It, it doesn't matter what you do, everything is going to be fine. And hey, this is a good sign. Something flashing. 
This is amazing. So let's go change this ancient Zealian relic into some weapons. Nice. Yeah. See, Luca's so good. She's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. So this is Luca's ultimate weapon. It does a random amount of damage from zero up to nine 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 nine. Oh, <laughs> and the sunshades, I believe, increase the attack damage of anyone that wears them. Oh, hey, what's that whirlpool? Oh, that's the path back to Hecran's cave over in Medina. That's what we used to come here after we defeated Hecran and that whole thing. Okay. If we stand on Hecran Point, we can jump in there and jump over to the Medina continent. It's how you get back and forth before you have the epoch. Okay, I totally forgot about that. I was like, what is that spinning vortex? Well, we've been doing this LP for like nine months now, so. True. <laughs> and now, meanwhile, in the present, Marl and Co. are gonna wrap up the rainbow shell stuff. So we'll just go ahead, head into the castle, and take it back like we were promised. Everything will be fine. Another trial? Another trial? Probably like, so who does the rainbow shell actually belong to? Who was you ask? Is it ours? The what? Kings? Oh my god, of course. I still feel like the king has secretly been switched out for someone else. <laughs> Wait, we just find a chest that was locked? Yep. Weird. Oh, see? See? So is this where you saw this going? No. Did he actually sell it for cash, or is it because he didn't know it existed until now? Because, like, we literally just kind of put it there. <laughs> well, I'll have to find out. <laughs> Show me the rainbow shell. <laughs> oh, okay. See, if he's laughing, then that means if he's staging <laughs> this. Only evil people laugh like that. Yep. <laughs> like Ambi. He had at me. He had at us all. <laughs> Not even- mm. Whoa, I wonder how Marl feels about this. See, Ayla has a good soul. And Marl still doesn't really understand how time travel works. Oh my god, Marl. <laughs> oh my god, Marl. She's trying. Oh my god, Marl. Now it's time for her to save her father. She wouldn't be saving him if it wasn't for Ayla. Yeah. And it's just like, hey, so I'm from way in the past? <laughs> a rat bit me? That looks like a bit more than a rat. Must have been rats. Dumb. Dumb the rat. rat king returns. 
Remember these old friends? Yep. The shapeshifty guys? The, yep, and they're exactly as strong as they were back at the start of the game, too. Incredible. Naturally. Yeah. Naturally with a G, right? <laughs> nah, truly. <laughs> Where's the vizier actually getting these people from? Probably bribing them. Well, no duh. What the- <laughs> <laughs> I wonder Literally if the vizier actually them. promised them like 5% profit. <laughs> oh my god, the return! <laughs> the return! What Everything's a... coming back. Holy shit! What a time <laughs> to be alive! <laughs> You love this kind of thing. I do. A whole lot of chests. See, okay, I guess it's because of nostalgia reasons, but I'm kind of appreciating moral side quests. <laughs> well, I mean, even if it's with Halo's encouragement, she's doing something. Yeah. She's actually taking some initiative. She just needed a little bit of push into it. A lot of push? <laughs> but it's good, really. Well, you always had this idea that Ayla was kind of helping Marl to be a better princess. And this is kind of an example of that. So, given how fast the Nagat was moving there, is it possible to dodge her? Uh, yeah. It's not easy, but it's possible. You basically have to know exactly where it is. Whoa. Same there. It's so fast. So furious. But they look like they're fun. Because, you know, yeah. they're sticking their tongue out at us. <laughs> and they all die in one hit. Well, they've got, like, 50 HP. We wouldn't have to be doing this, like, side quest accidentally a little late. Nope. This is when it happens. Hmm. It's just that all these old people from the Cathedral Quest are back. But haven't been updated at all. Nice. <laughs> See, that's why we keep them around. <laughs> For the insane magic power. So Priorities. it's been right there this whole time. But... <laughs> Price. To Marl, from Marl. Wow. Damn. Ayla leading down some hard truth. Yeah. See, she's so much more mature. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think she literally is, too. I think yeah, she's but probably like, in her 20s or something. She's she's a good leader. Yeah. And keep in mind, Marl's like 16. So teenagers, you know so how they can good. be. Yeah. She's like, you're not too big yet. Are you sure you're not going to die once you leave the nest? Wow. This is all game, by the way. This isn't transitions that I put in. Of course. Not that I doubt your skill. Almost actually dodged it there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for this, so we just gotta hurry. Is it actually time, or...? No. But, but we gotta hurry. Hmm. You know, in character. Gotta hurry. Yeah. Gotta scurry. <laughs> gotta yeah. make it there on time. Because, of course, we can't drag it back ourselves, so we're gonna have to be like, No, 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 look, it's there in the basement, and then get everyone else to come. Well, we, we grabbed a piece of it, at least. Oh, we did? Yeah. 
be like snap a little shard of it off. Oh, I thought we were bringing just the letter. The letter probably helps too. Although it'd be easier to forge that than an actual piece of it. To the king. Yeah. Maybe wait until after the execution, Chancellor. You'd be like, oh, I'm in charge now. It's all me. <laughs> and we couldn't get in through the door. The guards wouldn't let us. So dramatic. <laughs> Is she just gonna burst on through? She's so dramatic. Oh my god, she literally... <laughs> the Chancellor face. looks terrifying. Princess, control yourself. Oh, the Chancellor's different from the Vizier? No, it's the same guy, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same guy. You might be thinking of the 680 Chancellor. Yeah. No, no, I mean, like, who's... What is the name for the guy in the middle with the, the oh, that's yellow the judge. beard? Okay. That's the judge. Yep. <laughs> Grr, I mean, uh... <laughs> Super Ultra Presto Transformo. Um... That's some transformation. Yakra 13. Remember the first boss? In the cathedral? The guy that was pretending to be the Chancellor? Yeah. This is his descendant. Ooh. Here to get revenge for his for his ancestors' defeat 400 years ago. Pretty similar in general tactics. He does the spines. I uh, don't remember if the first guy had the breath. I think he does the pink the pinball attack. He's so gross. A little bit, yeah. And that's Dark Mist, by the way. Uh, he's scuttling. <laughs> he's like a gross pill bug thing. Mm. That already looks like what a boogeyman should actually look like. Oh my god. Magus just vogued. <laughs> I think that's why Magus casts most of his spells. I think it yeah. is. He vogues. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can steal something from him. Unless Ayla kills him first. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Ayla's the one who did that move, right? Where she like blue kissed him or something? Yep. Twin charm. It's a dual check. It's a dual tech for Ayla and Marl. Okay, yeah, I was just gonna say because Marl giggled and I thought that was really cute actually. <laughs> if I turn around a little. Fuck! <laughs> but if, see, it's because Ayla has a good influence on her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Honestly, I can see this specific side quest being the thing that puts Mara on the path to being, uh, being who she should be. Yeah. Yeah. Which is redeeming herself from shit tier to... Okay! <laughs> is she above Magus yet? No, but she's on the same level as Magus now. That's better. But now it will always be like that. You can't go above Magus. Because <laughs> Magus just vogue, so it's like, you can't beat that now. <laughs> I also love how we're coming in here into the middle of like a court trial. You can see in like the bottom there, uh, sort of people watching oh, around, yeah. and Magus is just like exploding things left, right, and center, causing a giant lightning storm. Yeah. <laughs> but do you think everyone has glasses, like shades? Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> that the stands are like magic proof, uh, so the crowd isn't entirely dead. Hopefully. Uh, but keep in mind also, this is Magus, the guy that 400 years ago tried to destroy the kingdom. And there, and people had like statues and pictures of him. 
But then people could say, like, wow, Marl tamed Magus. That's Holy true. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, you Either see, that or Marl knows someone that was a huge Magus fan and dresses up like him. Now I kind of want to ship Marl Magus. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Huh. I can see that. Is a fanfic forming in your head? Kind of. <laughs> it's because I always secretly liked Hermione and Draco. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, I can see that now. I mean, if Marl was to marry Magus, then Magus would technically sort of have his own kingdom. Yeah. Through yeah. marriage. Yeah. But, you know, he redeemed himself. Yeah. In Chrono Trigger canon, Chrono does end up being King of Guardia because of the canon ship. <sighs> <laughs> well, what about Ayla? Well, Ayla's already a queen. I know, well, but she could be super but... queen. <laughs> what about Magus and Ayla? Does Yakra have a face on his back? Nope, those are holes that he shoots spikes out of. Which is even worse. Just when he was turned to the side, it looked kind of like a face. Mm. Bogue. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I thought for a second he was the one to take down Yakra. <laughs> <laughs> nope, he was. That was his final attack. Oh, yes! <laughs> Which is kind of fitting, too, considering how yeah, everyone in the cathedral was like this big Magus cult and all. Aw, oh, yeah, he bogued. Bogued so hard, Yakra died. <laughs> we got a Mega Lancer. Hey. Do we already have ten of those? <laughs> the king stepped out of the room because he was like, shit, this is not my fight. And this also makes the wedge that the Chancellor seemed to be dividing, be pushing between them, make a little bit more sense. And everything that happened with the trial with Chrono back when. Yeah. Mm. Trying to get him executed even when the trial turned out as him being judged innocent. I wonder if Yakra 13 recognized Chrono. Hmm. Marl, you still have a job to do. Oh my god. Well, she brought and Magus! Magus is right here. <laughs> she brought Magus! <laughs> and Ayla. Or Ayla. It could be an OT3 now. You might remember that the Chancellor told Marl that the king was, just wasn't there when, it, when her mother died. Just an outright lie. Okay. King's like, uh, what do you mean, yes? Like, what do you mean that's how it was? Who's been lying to you this whole time? I wonder. <laughs> that guy, he was secretly a bug. <laughs> it's like, really, Dad? You couldn't see through the disguise? It's quite obvious. <laughs> I used to call you Daddy! Yeah? You know, we used to have a relationship, a good family relationship. You used to call me Daddy and Pops. And <laughs> I'm popsicle. sorry. Daddy. But since it faded out there, how do we want to get that item on the floor? Damn. See, he's saying that to Magus and Ayla. <gasps> Ooh, Ayla! <laughs> hey, it's Melkor. Hey, Melkor! <laughs> <laughs> See, oh my god. With the, with the sunstone already done, you get even better stuff out of this. If you finish the sunstone first, then you get even better stuff when you finish the rainbow shell. I like that, like, the game doesn't outright tell you that, though. You have to yeah. kind of figure it out if you else still. Yeah. So before we head back to the rainbow shell, we're gonna get that item. Just so that Ambi isn't just completely flustered by that. Yes. Oh yeah, Crookie. Huh. I wonder what it opens. Does it open any chest, any door? Is it oh, the- Oh, there's this locked chest. Ah. Whoa. What? <laughs> oh. 
My god. Everything he got his entire style from the first Yakra. <laughs> so he was just keeping him in the chest like a polyjuice potion? Yep, how long has he been in that chest? Is this the first Chancellor? The, no, well, we know the Chancellor was probably replaced during the trial, which had to have been like weeks ago at this point. Uh, <gasps> didn't I say, wait, no, I said the king. I said yeah. it was the king. Damn it. So close. Damn it! <laughs> no points for you. You're on the right track, though. Can I get, That's like, important. a good try point? Yes. Thank you. A bonus point. A prism dress. Nice. Three less effective. Uh, give me the dress. <laughs> or three prison home. Take your pick, Adrian. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the dress. Oh uh, yeah. Fancy. Only of course, Chrono Trigger is uh, heteronormative, so... Magus would have looked so beautiful in it because he could have vogue so hard. <laughs> Finished, he says. The rainbow stone's still there. You know what? I get the feeling that. Well, okay, with the way oh. Magus is designed, sunstone. A sunstone? Well, like an island? I think I read something somewhere that said, like, a lot of villains are uh, coded as gay. Christmas yeah, Christmas. yeah, it, it was something common for a while. Yeah, so I kind of get that feel from Magus sometimes. Prism Specs, by the way, are like a more powerful version of the Sunshades. Mm. And we finish off with this. And there's still plenty of uh, rainbow shell. You got one actual rainbow. The rainbow sword. It's Chrono's ultimate weapon. <gasps> nice. And then the stone gets to just stay there. It looked pretty. Yep. All the weaponizable parts taken off. So <laughs> do we have left to do the thing with Fiona? Yep, that's the last one. We'll oh, have man. to get to that next time. Whose final quest is that? Uh, technically, it's not anyone's quest in particular. It's more a, it's more a party side quest. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of Luca involved in it and a little bit of Robo involved in it. Yay! But I mean, they had time to put in an entire party specific side. Quest Sorry, fellas. Instead of an <laughs> Iowan, Iowan. Yeah, the, they had an Ala one half done, but they realized that it was just ending up being go through this dungeon and get the stuff at the end without any real character involvement with Ala, and so rather than put something that wasn't that great, they just cut it. Which I can understand, but then give me a really good Ala sub sub yeah. game. I, I think they just didn't have the time to do it. Give me an Ala side. That, that's the problem with a lot of RPGs. The, the most of the development time goes into like the first two thirds, and by the time they get to the last third, they're so close to deadlines so they can't really get there. Yeah. Like Phantom Pain came out and Kojima included like in the bonus features, hey, this was all the stuff we had planned for the third <laughs> part of it, but did get to put in. For MGS5? Yeah. That was one where Konami actually forced them to release it early, wasn't it? I think so, possibly. Yeah. Criminal special. Yeah, well he was a hero 400 years ago. Hmm. <laughs> Chrono named after himself. That would be great if that was what happened retroactively. <laughs> if now there, if now like half of Chrono's friends from school are also named Chrono. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Chrono the first. So he's not <laughs> Chrono with the red hair. He's uh, Chrono T. He's Alpha and Omega Chromo. Cro Cro Chrono. 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 <laughs> uh, is Chrono the oddly reminiscent? <laughs> so next time we'll have to wrap up with our last side quest and then get things ready to finish up the game. Alrighty then. Yep, <laughs> we're almost there. Well, thanks, thanks for watching, everyone, and bye. 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 <laughs>